Hello, Grandma DC here. And who is an angry bird? I am. The weather's getting cold. I don't like it. But I do like food. And I like tater tots. And there's a ton of recipes out there for keto tater tots. And we're going to try one today. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. Anger at the ready. But first, I was on Amazon the other day. Imagine that. I cruise Amazon like I cruise YouTube. And I found this thing that was like, you know, sign up for a free gift. I know it's a scam, but it's like, you know, click now, click here, watch this video, click again, see if you won. And I won like 75% off of this rocking knife. It's called a Mezzaluna. I've always wanted one. And here it is. It came in. It's got a little flaw on it, I must say. Maybe that's why it was only five bucks. I'm sure everybody won five bucks. <laughs> but oh my goodness. No, that's not a flaw. I don't have my glasses on. I think that's like a little logo of some sort. There it is. Can you see it? Will it focus? There. And uh, I have always wanted one of these. Oh, that's pretty darn sharp. Oh, yeah. Because you can take vegetables and things and rock them and cut them apart. And it uses two hands so you put equal pressure. And as I get older, as we all know, my thumbs and my joints and everything seem to be getting weaker. I didn't admit that. You didn't hear it. I might even just cut that out. <laughs> but it's true. So, you know, when I'm cutting up something large like this cauliflower that I'm getting ready to cut into pieces and chunks, I'm having trouble picking up there using this knife and I'm right-handed I'm terminally right-handed as you notice in my last video I whacked myself with my left hand in the head because I have no idea where this hand yeah I better be careful I have no idea what this hand is doing this would take a lot of pressure It'd be hard for me to push down I'm gonna try it with this and we'll see what happens <laughs> Also came with this really cool and nifty stick-on holder so that when I'm done with it, I can hang it on the wall. I like that. Maybe I can find it. Hey, hey, what is going on? I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Skudner, show everybody a new shirt. Look at my new shirt. Scud. Hey. New shirt, Scud. Now, new shirt, Scud. Hey, go in circles. Let's see if you can make a red streak when you go in circles. Scud, go in circles. There we go, in circles, in circles. Dad, a boy. Whoa. High five. Love ya. <laughs> you nut. He has his glowing collar on. He has his. Yes. Grandma gave that to him. Jealous much? Whoa, look at look at you jump, fat boy. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Welcome back, after that little interlude with the dogs. Okay, I have this open. This is the first time I've ever used this. I need to get the pig board. Now that we've magically made the pig board appear, I'm going to try to cut this boy. Bad, might be a girl, I don't know. How do you tell the difference in cabbage or cauliflower? And I'm going to... Oh, wow. That was easy. I really wasn't expecting it to be that easy. I may have just, I'm just going to cut right through the core. <laughs> I knew I was going to love it. But I do. If I was just going to chop this by hand and not put it in my processor, I think this would be easy thing to do. But, since we're making tater tots today, I'm going to go ahead and just use this to cut all the little stemmies out and then it's going in the fruit process. Even one-handed that thing slides too fast. It could be because it's just so darn new <laughs> and it's sharp. <laughs> but this is a newer knife too, but it's, it's more difficult. All right, well we're going to quickly cut these up, put them in the processor and rice them. And we'll be back when we have rice cauliflower. <laughs>
Okay, so I've taken and shredded, I started to call it cabbage, it's what it smells like. I shredded the cauliflower in my food processor. I've now wrapped it in several layers of paper towels and I'm squeezing the water out. Hopefully I'll get most of it out. And then I'm going to unwrap it and put it into this bowl. You could also put it into cheesecloth. You could also put it into a clean linen. And there you go. You want to get that baby as dry as you can. Two points back on the team. And there we go. You set it all nice and fluffy. Now that looks like more cauliflower to me than it showed in the recipe, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with it and hope this works. One egg. She's a large one. She comes from one of my big girls. So I'm going to put that in. I tell you what, I can't just do one egg. That doesn't look like enough binder to me. So follow your instincts. This is what I always tell you. Cook by the seat of your pants and with your taste buds. I'm going to add one of my little small Sarama eggs to it. A little more ratio there going on to get it to stick. I think so. Besides just a little more egg, is it going to hurt nothing? They called for no binders other than eggs in the recipe I saw. However, I'm thinking a quarter cup of coconut flour is needed. And coconut flour is thirsty, so it'll help soak up any extra moisture that's left over. Salt and pepper to taste. I like lots of salt and pepper. This is a tater tot after all. And then we're going to stir. Here's where I get in trouble. Stirring left-handed. That's like asking me to pat my stomach, walk, stir it like a witch does. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you in trouble. Cauldron burn and whatever double. I don't remember how that goes. <gasps> I'm a terrible witch. I don't remember how it goes. Now, the recipe I saw didn't call for it, but this is what we're trying to do. Is we're trying to make vegetables taste good and appealing. Because you know I don't like veggies. So, <laughs> I'm so handicapped. So, <laughs> I have some fresh how do people do anything left-handed? My grandfather was ambidextrous. I did not get that. Okay. Some fresh kale. I wish it was parsley. But, okay. I wish it was parsley, but I had some kale. Kale's supposed to be so good for us. And I know some of you out there like it. And this is a good opportunity to use my mezzaluna. I'm really starting to like this thing more and more and more. This is pretty cool. You know, like I said, it was, um, go to Amazon and look under, uh, giveaways or like sponsored giveaways, freebie giveaways, something like that. Anyway, I just clicked on it and it had me watch a video and then it came back and it said it was a huge percent off, which made the knife cost like under six bucks. And I thought, it can't be that. I had been wanting a rocking knife for some time and thought during my time of crippledness, maybe this was a good opportunity to get one of these. And I am not regretting it at this moment. Pigboard's not liking it. <laughs> no, Pigboard's fine with it. I have had pig boards since I was a little girl because someone made this pig board for my mother and I don't think she remembers I have it. She, she'll want it back. So, <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is wonderful. Look how I can cut that up into such tiny pieces I won't even know it's in there and that's the whole point. <laughs> Get it so small that it's just color, but I don't notice it's in there because I don't want to know. You are such a rocky thing. I don't want to know <laughs> that this is in there. This is for vitamins and color in my tater tots. Let's hope I don't ruin them putting it in there. Okay. Well, that was fun. Are you done griping, Angus? Look at that. Man, it didn't even take that long either. Wow. I'm going to throw that in there. Like so. Next thing's next. I am going to finally shred up some mozzarella cheese. You could also use mild cheddar, but I just think I want these to taste like tater tots, and mozzarella has very little flavor, so that's what I'm going to be using. And I'll be back when I get this ground up. It may take a while. I'm kind of slow right now.
All right, now, don't yell at me. I've taken my brace off. The doctor said I could take it off once a day and stretch. This is my once a day I'm stretching. I just could not do this with it on my arm. So this is a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I grated eight ounces or half a pound of Parmesan up very fine. That's all going to help hold these tater tots together. I thought this was a wonderful recipe to try to get me to eat vegetables. <laughs> and I am going to get my hands in here and mix this because that is the only way. My goodness. And it's all that cheese and stuff when it starts melting, I guess, that will hold these together. It didn't say to put in any leavening or anything like that. It was just the salt and pepper. And you could also put in garlic or I thought about putting onion flakes in. Honestly, I have them out. There they are. But um, I'm thinking, no, this is coming together really nice. Look at that. That's forming a nice dough as we sit here and work it. So I think we are ready to form these into tots. They said just, uh, yeah, I didn't say how big a tot. Do you want big tots? Or I think I'll go with average size tots. About like so. And we'll start lining them up on the uh, sheet. I hope you can see this. Okay, you gotta really love yourself or tater tots to go through this much effort. I think my uh, tot size radar is off a little. It's been a long time since I had a tater tot, so I went back and made some of them smaller. I think they kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger as I wanted to get done doing this. Now you put them in a preheated 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. That's what the recipe said. That's what we're going to do. And I'll show you how they look when we get back. Yeah. While we're waiting for the tater tots to finish, we'll take this brief interlude to make a mess. Oh, this is my new cup. I, well, I can't pick it up with my sore hand. I think this is going to be my favorite cup. Maybe I should put my armband back on. What do you think? Oh, definitely so. <laughs> Be back. That's better. Uh, oh, yeah, now I can pick up my coffee cup without pain. Nice. Thought I'd take this opportunity. Uh, sit my hard-boiled eggs and coffee over here while we're waiting on the tater tots. To uh, show you something that I very rarely show. And I really don't have a whole lot of pictures of me when I weighed 350 or 400 pounds. But I do have this one. Uh, let's see, Eli was about 15 years old. He's 28 now. I'll go ahead and figure that 13 years ago, maybe. And we went to one of those tintype photo places at Silver Dollar City. And they didn't have a, a costume big enough to fit me. So they just sort of draped it around my shoulders, you can tell. And I'm just going to see if we can focus on it. All right. There I am. There's my son. I think we're focusing. Oh, good. Yeah, that's me when I weighed oh, about probably 365 or so. And I don't show that picture very much. I have one when I was over 400, um, but I can't find it. I think it was like two of them, but 
one I was particularly new about, but I can't find it. So, <laughs> oh, what a shame. So that proves that I've been way bigger than I am now. And uh, so whenever I think to myself, oh, you know, I'm so fat, I'm just so huge. And then it's like, I remember that day and it's like, I'm doing better. <laughs> and when people call me fat now, it's like, you have no idea. You really don't. Okay. So as you know, I'm kind of a cup lover. I fell in love with this cup. Perfect. Hmm. And we have five minutes remaining. I'm so excited. Let's check on them. I am less excited. They've kind of fallen over and kind of mushied down. They haven't really stayed together. And they don't even look like they're near cooked enough. There's no browning going on. So I may have to leave them in there longer than five minutes. I'll show them to you when we get them out. Okay, the alarm is going off. The kitchen is hot, which is not a bad thing. It's getting cooler today. And I have it back on. Feels better now. <laughs> And it has been a little over, <laughs> glasses, I forget, a little over 25 minutes. We're going to, I got to have glasses on to see them. We're going to take them out and have a look. Okay, it may not be as bad as I thought. Well, looky here. They're a little browned. I think they need to brown more, don't you? Let's put them back in for another five minutes. Let's go another five minutes. And that's what I'm talking about when you do recipes. Sometimes you just got to kind of like trust your own gut, right? Even though sometimes my guts are wrong. But I got to tell you, the one I felt just then when I pushed on it, it kind of was crunchy on the outside. So I have hope, even though my ca cabbage tater tots, why do I want to call cauliflower cabbage? Because it sometimes smells like cabbage. Well, it all the time smells like cabbage. But it doesn't always taste like cabbage. Ah. Ha, there you go. So uh, five more minutes. I can hardly wait. And if I can make vegetables taste good, then I won't have to be angry anymore. Hey, Bettina and all of you, thank you so much for the lovely comments. I am always so overjoyed to come home when I upload a video and find nine plus positive comments. Um, there are times when I start thinking, you know, I'm not really a cook. I'm not really anything special. I have no original ideas. There are no original ideas, it seems, left in the world anymore. Just like there are no more musical notes, you know. They've all been played. But when you comment that you enjoy my videos and, and want to watch me and I make your day, well, gee, guys, you make mine. And that's no lie. So uh, five more minutes. I'll quit being sappy. And, uh, and I'm going to, what was that weird noise? Did you hear that? I'll bet you that camera can't pick that up. It's like, it's like a sick Sasquatch. I gotta go check that one out. Here they are. I took them out after five more minutes, so it was 30 minutes altogether. And one side of my oven cooks more than the other side, so I pulled these two out and put... I turned it around and put the rest of them back in for another five minutes because I wanted them browned like this one. They weren't all browned. It's light. Got a little crunchy sound to it. Now for the taste test. I probably should have put some garlic or onion in it. <laughs> well, dang. Shut my mouth. Slap me on the back side and call me Sally. That is freaking good. <laughs> the salt and pepper is fine. A little onion in there would have been nice. That was right. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to, you know, they're browned on the bottom. To follow the uh, recipe, which it was on Facebook. But I've seen it everywhere. Well... You know what? They don't look like a tot. At least mine don't. Maybe yours will. Maybe I shouldn't have put that little bit of extra 
um, egg in there. But, it don't matter. I still call this a win. <coughs> Could you stop that? Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. And I'm no longer angry because I just figured out a way to make a veggie taste good. Bye-bye. <laughs>